Coming up. I don't want to shake any hands. It's just a stupid dummy. I, you know. I just can't imagine driving over it. I think you're overthinking it. This is going to sound sick, but driving over him wasn't as scary as the anticipation of driving over him. Never is. That poor dummy. Starting to feel a little silly? Yeah, a little bit. Let's see if we can up the ante a little bit more. Okay. Right? Felt something that time. Okay. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it just felt really real. Yeah. And the skidding of the tires. <sighs> that was a good one. Yeah. We've talked about the fear level from zero to a hundred. Yeah. What's your level? Like seventy-five. Still scary, not silly yet, right? No, 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 that wasn't silly. Okay. That wasn't silly at all. Ready oh, to give another shot? Hurts. Yeah. All right, you can do this. Go ahead. All right. Whoops. I'm okay. I'm glad you are. Um, I'm okay. It seems just like... Dumb? Yeah. Good. Half hour ago, this wasn't dumb. No. It's scary as heck. That's habituation. When RNA does these really tough exposures, she gets anxious, she gets upset, and then she starts to feel better. Fancy word for that is habituation. And now I think it's baby time. All right? <laughs> She's killing the babies! Ah! Oh, Lord! Dr. Dolan said OCD is abnormal, so in order to treat it, we have to do what's abnormal. I had a world-renowned psychologist throwing baby dolls at my car. I went to graduate school for this. And here comes their dad! Ah! If what I did today wasn't abnormal, I don't know what is. RNA is making great strides to overcome her driving issues, but she has other issues that she does need to work on, like her fears of contamination and her need to wash excessively. Wow. You're right. Okay. I think so. You? <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, no, I'm good. I, I'm good. After that, I'm good. Cody and Kevin both have this magical idea that certain words can make bad things happen. That's why I want to have them tattoo these words on themselves so that they can see that they're just words and that nothing bad happens. Cody, I have somebody I'd like you to meet. This is Paula. She walks in the door and my heart starts beating really fast. Paula, uh, 666 right here. Okay. This is actually a very therapeutic feeling. No, it in... isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Getting it was tough because if it's on my arm, it looks like I believe it. Am I evil for doing this? Does God resent me for putting this on my arm? You did a marvelous job here, I guess. <laughs> nice going, Cody. You did a marvelous job. Good job. Okay. 
Like I thought maybe people will die,、mm. but I don't want to get myself upset, and I don't want to like bother、um, like her either, because you know.、Uh, don't worry about Tracy; she's good. Here, okay. What's your level, Kevin? It, it's some anxiety, but it was like higher before it was happening. It almost always is. We're going. Arne is volunteered to do one. Oh my goodness! What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to show us up today or something? No, no. All right,、it's、it's your、it. chair. As other people saw what Kevin and Cody were doing, they started thinking、hey, this is a good idea. This is a good way to face my fear. So people started coming up with different ideas. I have HIV. Ooh, good one. Ooh. Okay. Locked up. Here. Okay. Hypodermic needle.、Mm-hmm. Like maybe right around here,、oh, where the vein is. Even Dr. Chris had one. I got one. O C D, big, with a circle and a slash around it. Are you gonna do anything, Tracy? Except you. I don't want any part of it. Tracy didn't get one. I figured she would jump right in and say, "You know what? Let's write the word cancer on me so I can face that fear." It took me by surprise that she didn't do it. Are we done? You all right? Fine. That little henna activity just ticked me off. Forcing them to wear the very things that they're afraid of on their arms—that's just inhuman. It was sick. Whatever, they can have it. I don't want any part of it. Coming up. Welcome to Skid Row. Oh no 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 no! Please 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 don't make me touch that. Gosh, oh my gosh! Come on out and do it right. I don't like being part of groups. I'm not used to people really caring about me one way or the other. I don't let them in so they don't take the time to get to know me. But that's fine. That's one less person I have to worry about saving. I saw a lot of victories yesterday. I saw people really busting their butts. Kristen, how about you? What are you proud of? I still haven't washed my hands. Awesome. That's two days now. Wow, that's good for you. Who else had a victory? Arne. You had a heck of a day. I'm trying. You're going for it. You certainly are. I think that there are probably four people that I can point to and say, "Holy cow, they're going to make it." Tracy, I don't get that feeling when I watch you. Do you think you worked as hard yesterday as Kristen did, or Arne? In my head, I know I'm doing my part. And if nobody sees that, oh well. Well, it's a little bit more than oh well because we actually do have to see it. I was surprised when we were all doing the tattoos. It seemed like that would have been a really good exposure for you. What happened? I thought it was cruel. I thought it was unnecessary. I think that what it comes down to is that you had an opportunity to face your fears. Instead, you chose to get mad, and you chose to retreat from the group. I think Tracy, you need to commit, or you need to go. I need to see the work. Paula is gone, but I do have a pen. Tracy, if you're committed, I think you need to face your fears. Okay. All right, let's show the world that Tracy is able to do this. This way, you can all see that I'm every bit as good as you. Still think I can't do it? My question was never whether you could; it was whether you would. And I'm glad that you will. Well, let's talk a little bit about today. Tracy and Kevin, I'd like you guys to hang back with Dr. Gilliam. I think, based on yesterday. I want to see you guys have a little bit more individualized attention. The rest of us, we're going to go on a field trip. We're going to go to Skid Row. That's a place that I think is going to trigger fears for many of you. Whether it's touching things, seeing people that frighten you, I think we're going to experience a lot of fear, and I think we're going to have a lot of victory. Cody, one of the issues for you is that you often worry that you might turn into one of these people that you see, and I know that 
physical appearance is a big part of that fear. So we brought you some clothes, because I think they might help you get a little bit more into the spirit of things. See you on a bit. Ernie, I'm scared we would go today. This is going to be tough. I know you can do it. The biggest thing was probably putting on the clothes and looking like one of them. One of them. I sound so 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 rude right now. It's just, when I put on those clothes, I felt like I'm really fitting the part now, and this is just not good. I don't want to slip into this state where I decide to live on the streets. I feel like I belong out there. <laughs> 